Hi, Christina Joy here from SeeJoyEverywhere.com, a yoga and lifestyle guide. And I absolutely love vinyasa. Today we're going to be doing an awesome flow to help you open your heart. When you're ready, get on your mat and let's go. We'll start in Hero's Pose, Varasana. Kneeling, seated, however you'd like, whatever feels good. Just bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Take a deep breath in, you fill your belly. Sip some more air in to fill the ribs. Even more, the chest and heart lifts. Exhale, the chest softens, the ribs fall, and the belly deflates. Inhale to fill the belly, the ribs, the chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Imagining that with each breath in, you fill up your heart with beautiful, bright, white light healing energy. And with each exhale, you send that love and light out to the world. One more deep breath in, belly, ribs, chest, exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Releasing your hands down and coming onto all fours into your tabletop position. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, press into the tops of your feet. Take a deep breath in, let your belly drop and your heart radiate forward. Exhale, C, curve your spine, hollow out the belly. Inhale, the belly drops, the heart lifts. Exhale, C, curve the spine. One more time, a deep breath in, belly drops, heart lifts. Exhale, C, curve. And returning back to center. Kickstand your right foot out to the side. Extend your left foot back behind you. Bring your left hand to your left hip, opening up your hips towards the side. And then extend your top arm up, reach energy through your fingertips. A full breath in. Exhale, reach that arm up and overhead, extending length from the back edge of your foot all the way out your fingertips. And then starting to make some movements around with that arm, waking up the shoulder. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, circle around. Inhale, lift. Exhale, around. One more time, a full breath in. Exhale to plant that hand down, coming back through center. A cat cow to reset. Inhale, belly drops, heart lifts. Exhale, C curve the spine. Returning to neutral, left foot kickstands out, right foot back behind you. Open up, peel the heart open, extension through the fingertips. And then reaching up and overhead, a full breath in. Exhale, circle that arm up and around. Full range of motion. Beautiful deep breaths. One more deep breath in, reaching up and around. Exhale to plant that hand back down. Cat cow heart opens and C curve the spine. Returning back to center, step the hands, one hand print forward. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back. Keep a really nice bend in your knees at first. Let your heels be lifted off of the ground as you press into your hands and lengthen your heart towards your thighs. A full breath in and out. 
and then making any movements that your heart desires. So you may choose to bend into one knee and then the other. You could open your feet wide on the mat and rock your hips side to side as if you were wagging your tail in your downward dog. Or you can find stillness. A deep breath in and out. Bend your knees, look forward to your hands and walk your feet to your hands. Opening up the feet nice and wide. Take a nice bend in the knees and let your head hang heavy. Shake it yes and no. And then slowly starting to rise up to stand. Toe heel the feet together to touch. Take a deep breath in. The arms rise up overhead. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, the arms rise up. Exhale, the arms come back behind you to interlace. Open up your heart, a full breath in. Exhale, bend your knees to forward fold. So this is a really nice shoulder opener. If your shoulders are tight, you may choose to place a strap or a towel between your hands to give yourself some more space. Take a deep breath in and let the arms flow down. Frame out the feet. Step the feet back, downward facing dog. Feet come together to touch. Inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. You may choose to stay here or flip the dog, take wild thing. Reach up and out through those fingertips. Feel your heart space expand. Breathe deeply. A full breath in and out. Slowly and gently unflip the dog, extend that right leg up, and then bring that knee to your nose to cross that right foot over to the left side. Peel the heart open and up, hips lift, fingertips extend. A full breath in and out, plant the hand, sweep the right foot back up. Lift that heel a little bit higher with an in-breath. Exhale to step that foot between your hands. Inhale, rises you up, warrior one. Hips are squared nice and forward, arms reach tall, and then they reach back behind you. Inhale, opens your heart. Exhale, you bow forward, humble warrior. Again, you may choose to use whatever strap or towel that you need to help you create a stretch, but never any string. And then shift your weight into your right foot to fly. Lift that back leg up, airplane pose. And then release your arms to airplane arms. Extension out of those fingertips. Full breath in. A full breath out. Slowly bend into your right knee. Reach back for your left foot or ankle. Extend your right arm up. Dancer's pose. Take a deep breath in and out. One more time, inhale. Exhale, let the right arm come down, find the floor or a block. Feel that stretch and extension in your leg. And then windmill that lifted arm up and around. Forward, fold. Finding that standing L shape, L for love, heart opening, or 
taking it deeper to that standing split. Reach through those toes. If you have the space and you like to work with opening up the hip, feel free to do so for a full breath in and out. And then gently bend into your right knee, step the left foot back. Keep your left hand planted to send your right foot back to your side plank. Keep your core tight and engaged. Maybe you add that really beautiful extension through the arm, reaching up and over. Keep that nice arc of the body as you breathe. Knowing the modification for your side plank is to just come right down to that knee. One more time, up and around to plant it down, find your plank. A full breath in and out as you lower all the way down to your belly. Hands slide back, press into the tops of your feet. Take a deep breath in, the heart lifts. Exhale, lower. Inhale to rise. Exhale, release. One more time, deep breath in. This time maybe you hold here. P option to lift those hands up or reach the arms back behind you like airplane arms. For even more of a challenge, you'll interlace your hands back behind you. A deep breath in. And out. Hands come back to meet the mat. Press up, downward facing dog. A deep breath in and out. Inhale, the left leg rises up and back. Exhale to bend the knee, open up the hip. Flip the dog or find your wild thing. Peel the heart open. Extend those fingertips long. And then unflip the dog, reach that left foot up and back. Knee comes to nose to cross the body. Opening up the right arm to the sky. Heart lifts. Each breath fills your heart with beautiful bright white light energy. Another deep breath in. Exhale to plant the hand. Sweep it back, three-legged dog, to step it up and through. Warrior one, rise those arms up. Heart lifts, hips are squared. Deep breath in. The exhale reaches the arms back behind you. Inhale, the heart lifts, the baby back bend. Exhale, fold it forward, humble warrior. Filling up the heart space with breath. The Anahata Chakra, the heart chakra that we're breathing into, creating more space for love and light. Go ahead and shift your weight forward into that left foot to fly. Finding your airplane variation. So your heart is lifted, different than a warrior three where the heart is in a T shape with the rest of the body. Then go ahead and release your arms if you have them clasped. Heart stays lifted with those airplane arms. And we'll transition to find our dancer's pose. So bend your right knee, reach back for the foot or ankle, extend your left arm up, come forward any amount. Making this all about the breath. And then slowly releasing the left hand 
to find the floor or a block. Feeling that stretch and extension. And then releasing the arm, extending the leg. You may choose to keep it at that L shape. Hands can come anywhere you'd like. Or opening up the hip, reaching long through those toes. And then go ahead and bend into the left knee to step back to runner's lunge. Keep your right hand planted. Drop your right heel to open up. Find your side plank. You may choose to stay here or drop that knee and then circle the arm up and around. Keep your breath. One more time, reach up and over, back to your plank. Shift your weight forward and slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Put your arms back behind you. If you have blocks, you may choose to move them out from under your face. Take a full breath in and let it all go. Belly down, back bends, locust pose. Inhale to lift yourself up. Reach those fingertips back. Press into the tops of your feet. Maybe you choose the variation to bring your hands back behind you. Maybe you lift the feet up off the mat. Letting your breath rock you forward and back. One more deep breath in. And out, lowers you down. Turn the gaze to one side. Complete surrender. Soften. Feel your heart beat. Feel the present moment. And then come back to center. Option for that same variation, or you can bend your knees and reach your arms back. You can grasp hold your ankles or your feet. Take a deep breath in to lift your heart up. So the neck needs to stay happy here. So we don't want it to be too far back or too far forward. We want it to be in a nice long line. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to release down. Turn the gaze to the opposite direction. Bend your knees and let the feet fall from side to side. Coming back to neutral, extending the legs long, bringing the hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up and back. Knees are together, sitting the hips back, reach your arms back behind you. Embryo pose, feeling the breath, feeling how your heart is supported by your thighs. Feeling the gentle heartbeat. And then slowly rising up. 
and we'll transition down to our backs. If you have blocks, feel free to keep them by your sides to use them for this next part of our class. And then go ahead and release all the way down, hugging your knees and towards your chest. Rock yourself side to side. So much love, so much presence. Unconditional love and caring towards your soul container, your body. And then go ahead and release the feet down so that they're about hip distance apart. Reach your fingertips towards your heels. Take a deep breath in, lift the hips up. Setu Bandhasana, bridge pose. Engagement in the legs, pressing the heels down to open up the heart even more. You may interlace your hands underneath you. See if you can step your shoulder blades together even more to lift your heart. Three deep breaths. And then taking one of your blocks and placing it right underneath you. Supported bridge. Letting yourself settle for a moment, a deep breath in and out. Option to stay here with your supported bridge, or you can go for another strengthening bridge, pressing into your feet and lifting your hips. Or I'll also offer the variation of wheel pose. If you're going for your wheel, you'll bring your hands by your ears, press down into your palms, let your elbows face upwards, Root energy through your heels, engage your core, and then press into your hands to rise up. Wheel. Wherever you are, be fully there for the next three deep breaths. Breathing into the heart space, the Anahata Chakra. And then slowly lowering down, taking your time. If you had the block underneath you, you'll just remove that and lower your hips all the way down. Open your feet wide on the mat and bring your knees together to touch. Hands come to your belly. Feel the inhale. Feel the exhale. Bringing one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly, re-enlist that three-part breath. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Releasing your arms down by your sides and setting up for your final resting pose. So you may choose to just have your legs out long and reach your arms down by your sides. If you have blocks or a bolster or a pillow, you may choose to set up for a supported fish. My favorite way to do this is to take your first block and place it on the second highest setting like this. And then you'll take your second block and place it on the lowest setting, 
like so. And then you'll come right up close and taking this second block, the one that's on the lowest setting and placing it right underneath your shoulder blades. And then the top block rests right at the back of your skull. And you can bring your knees together to touch, your feet out wide. You may choose to bring your knees wide and bring the bottoms of your feet together. You could even extend the legs long. Wherever you are, allow yourself to just feel the breath moving in your nose and all the way down to fill up your heart space. Imagine that each breath in fills you with beautiful, bright, white light, healing energy. And each exhale allows you to release any blocks that are held within your heart. If your schedule allows, let yourself rest into your Shavasana as long as you'd like. If you're ready to be guided out, take a full breath in and let it go. Inhaling love and light. Exhale, send it out to the world. Slowly turn yourself over onto your right side in the fetal posture. And press yourself to an easily seated position. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. The light within my heart seeks, sees, and smiles at the light within yours. Namaste. Now that we've opened our hearts together, I want you to have full access to my resource library. Grab the link below. If you're feeling the love, like this video, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time.